What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yeah. All right. So, you guys, man, we heard stuff about Will Smith, about Jamie Foxx, about Puffy, about Rick Ross. Now it's spilling over to Eddie Murphy, bro. Like I said, is it the whole Hollywood coming out now? Is this the way for them to come out? Everybody exposing everybody. It's, it's starting with Diddy. He's the ringleader, right? Dang, bro. Not not my boy Eddie, bro. Eddie and Rick Ross, bro. Dang, that's messed up, man. Let's, let's get to the tea. Murphy slept in your bed. What is this? What are you kidding? They shot coming to America and Eddie Murphy man milked your bed. Reached out and was like, yo, Eddie Murphy. I'm Dream like, come true. Yeah, and I'm just like, yo, Eddie Murphy coming himself. Let me make this clip. They like, yo. Eddie Murphy will come tomorrow. He cribs, no, but that's where he lives. I got more than one house, oh, but God. people don't sleep in my Could you bed? just talk about your car? Are you in love right now? Oh, uh, yeah. That's crazy. We all know that the entertainment crazy. industry can be a whirlwind of surprises, but this scandal takes the cake. The larger-than-life persona of Rick Ross, with his captivating lyrics and magnetic presence, has intertwined with the infectious laughter of Eddie Murphy. It sounds like an unlikely combination, right? But they I damn so do. claim they have seen sparks flying between them, igniting a fire that couldn't be ignored. Is there any truth to these, or are we merely caught up in a whirlwind of tabloid gossip? Let's begin the bombshell revelation behind this hot gay affair. I know who I am. <laughs> who are you? And Well, the world might know Eddie Murphy as a legendary comedian, but he has been more famous due to his peculiar relationship status and his jokes on LGBT community, especially about gays. Get a beer, what you gonna do? Think I'll go suck somebody's dick. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Murphy has got a huge fan following due to his show Coming to America that is now being sequeled after 33 years. But this is not all about the show now. It's about his love of life, Rick Ross. Yeah, this time he is staying at the Georgia Palace that belongs to the rapper Ross. And that's not all. Recently, DJ Envy has fired back on Ross during a podcast that he was sleeping with Murphy. Eddie Murphy didn't just come to America. He came in America on Rick Ross's bed. You need the to stop The cast <laughs> of Boomerang, they shot at your crib. They slept in your bed. What's wrong? Ross, who has already been slammed with having a gay relationship Bang. with Diddy, has cleanly bowled Envy by stopping him to question what Murphy was doing in his bed. Don't, don't ask me, me nothing. Ask don't question. ask me anything in this segment. You think Jay's... Well, as most of the Hollywood fans know, Murphy had a great love life beside his career. This mistake is costing Amazon Prime shoppers big. Are you still using Prime? Because at this point, however, something in him was there that made him talking about gays in his jokes. He tried to normalize relationships with gays in stand up comedy shows. Hey, no more. I can't go to San Francisco. They got 24 hour homo watch waiting for me in the airport. He is speculated to be a better half of Ricky Ross as he has a history of gay relationships and many times it has been proved. There was this epic footage that dropped a few years back revealing Ross Rock in his true colors in total rainbow vibes. It was crystal clear, no doubt about it, that Ross was strutting his stuff in the fabulous world of being gay. That footage had us all dancing and cheering for Ross, embracing his authentic self. As Murphy's sexuality is concerned, he has not rowed in straight boats. Back in 1977, Eddie Murphy faced a significant controversy that posed a serious threat to his career. The famous actor was involved in an incident that attracted a lot of attention. Reportedly, Murphy was seen picking up a transvestite prostitute from a well-known location for gay prostitution in West Hollywood. Reports indicate that officers stopped Murphy's vehicle around 4.45 a.m. during a routine traffic check and saw his partner. They soon discovered that the man, a sex worker addition Queely, who was biologically male but identified as female, had an outstanding prostitution warrant. After a thorough investigation, Dang. it was determined that there were no illegal activities on Murphy's part during the traffic stop. Excuse me. Well, Murphy was released without charge while the sex worker was captured. Murphy later stated that his intention was only to provide the sex worker with a ride home and that he had no intention of engaging in any illegal activity. Yeah, right. Okay. However, the damage yeah, to right. his reputation seemed almost irreparable. Fortunately, Murphy managed to navigate the ensuing public relations crisis with skill and resilience, eventually regaining his footing and recapturing the glory days of his career in Hollywood. Well, the question still remains why Murphy was attracted to the sex worker, especially when his kids and wife were out of town. And the question Banks. is legit, because at the other end is Eddie Murphy, who had been making fun of homosexuals from the initial days of his career. 
Before the sex worker scandal, Murphy was already found making fun of gay community and his derogatory remarks against gay people were disgusting. He was labeled as a problem for the homosexual community. Murphy said, there's nothing like a nation of fags looking for you. He also justified himself saying he did so because they were homosexuals. Murphy also once admitted that he is scared of gay men and having scary dreams about them. Whatever he has said about the gays, it gives an idea that he was trying to suppress something inside him and might be he was afraid to tell the world who that what it sounds like to me is. Following the sex workers incident, more and more evidence has been gathered to support the fact that Eddie was secretly having relationships with transgender sex workers. A local woman said Eddie used to come to customers and meet transgender women, which earned them a lot of money. According to him, Eddie's car was seen several times with these people, and they were seen leaving with a large amount of cash. Coming towards his most famous relationship with Arsenio Hall, let's reveal that Eddie has been more than just a friend to him, and both were seen together like a pair of jeans. Being with friends is great, but constantly being with one all the time can give air to the fire. Well, no offense, Eddie has been spilling hate against the gay community, but it can be speculated that he is in love with men and Ross is his latest affair. Like, who the hell lets you sleep in their bed even if you have rented their house for shooting your next play? DJ Envy has found it absurd and questioned Ross about it. And as expected, Ross had no answer to it. He wanted Envy to stop asking him these kind of questions because they were making him offended. Ross's inability to answer the bombardments by Envy gives a clue that he doesn't want Murphy and himself to get exposed in front of the media. Let's see how long the couple will hide the story under the sheets. To add more spice to the drama and reveal the truth behind who the gay couple really is, let's put some light on how the stars have come out to support the gay and LGBT communities. In an interview during 2019, he has confessed that his previous jokes about gay people make him cringe. He admittedly could hardly believe he said some of those cringeworthy slurs. Moreover, he admitted that what he said about gay men with AIDS in war was totally wrong. Just like the rest of the world, I am more educated about AIDS in 1996 than I was in 1981. I think it is unfair to take the words of a misinformed 21-year-old and apply them to an informed 35-year old man. In a recent interview with Funky Dinova, Rick Ross expressed his support for the LGBTQ community in hip-hop. This came after he faced criticism in 2018 for using a homophobic slur in his song. When the rapper was asked about gay rappers like Saucy Santana entering the music industry, Ross responded positively. He encouraged them to pursue their dreams. He also stated that he believes hip hop has already embraced the LGBTQ community. In the same interview, Ross was asked about the level of support Miami artists receive compared to artists from other cities in the country. He said, there's nothing that I really want to lock into because I feel like Miami artists could be just as big as any artist in the world. Well, both sides are a huge supporters of gays and homosexuals being into the community. So we can say that Ross and Murphy might have something cooking between them. Ross has always been a player and had relationships with multiple men before, while Murphy has been involved with transgenders. So there would be no surprise if both of them turn out as a gay or bisexuals. After all, both men have been involved with the girls before. Despite everything, Murphy's turn from being a hater to supporter is really alarming. However, the party all the time crooner has already clarified that he had no regret about the paths he took as they were in line with the context of the times and contributed to his fame. Well, fans of both parties have no offense whether their stars are gay or bisexuals. They say it's their life and they can do whatever they want. As one of them commented, I love you all no matter what. Why the F or what the H is it any of our business about sexual orientation? We have sex with whoever we want and it doesn't have any consequences for any other person in the whole world. Friends, the shooting of Coming to America is still going on and Murphy is there with Ross. So if something fishy is there between them, it would be revealed soon. Moreover, the star has recently appeared in Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, a Netflix show. As per now their relationships are concerned, Murphy has built up a family of 10 children from three women. Recently, he had an affair with an Australian model, which shows that he doesn't care about nationality, color, or caste, while Rick Ross has four children with three different women. Well, we can just say that their multiple relations might be a clue that the men are gay too, and soon we'll start a new family. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye. Murphy's slept in you.
Wowzers, 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 wowzers. Eddie Murphy, sleeping in Rick Ross' bed, coming to America shoot. Man, oh man, oh man. Personally, man, anybody preferences, anybody preferences. But you see how Eddie Murphy used to bash the uh, the community one time before. Now he embraces the community. Because then he cahoots with it, with Rick Ross. I mean, there's nothing wrong with your orient, your your preference. You know, I, I support everybody, but at the same token, though, like that goes to show you what you do in the dark will come to the light. Don't bash a certain group of people if you are in that group, bro. I don't think that's right. You know, to each his own. But this is this is getting spicy. Fifty Fifty Cent said it a while back, bro. He said it a while back. He told us about multiple people. And even with 50 Cent, um, the game has said it one time. He said that was the part of the reason why he left G Unit. He said that, you know, 50 wanted him to do no, whatever. This is crazy. All for the love of a dollar, man. That's crazy. 